that will show them that they're wrong. Well, uh, this is, of course, an, an intriguing thing. Uh, it will be like 1964, he says, that uh, the, the, this uh, Cruz Jindal will get defeated by a landslide. Um, I wish I could be guaranteed that because of the fecklessness of the Democratic uh, candidates. But still, the big question is, what will promote the collapse of the Republican Party as a national party? And this might. Um, what we're all looking for is the Winfield Scott of the Republican Party today. Winfield Scott, you remember, was in the Whig Party. He was a famous general and did great service to the United States in the uh, Civil War, right? He designed the so-called Anaconda policy, the blockade and the uh, conquest of the Confederacy. But in 1852, he was running for president. He revealed himself like so many generals. He was not politically very uh, smart. Uh, and that destroyed the Whig Party. The Whig Party was destroyed by the crushing defeat of Winfield Scott in 1852. Uh, maybe the crushing defeat of Cruz and Jindal could put an end to the Republican Party as a national party. And I, I would embrace it more enthusiastically. It's just I've always seen the Democratic Party uh, selling out and snatching defeat from the jaws of victory in that uh, sense. So again, November 3rd, default crisis begins December 11th. There is no Speaker of the House. Ryan keeps saying no because he sees that the uh, extremists of the Freedom Caucus are going to, uh, to sabotage him. They will not make the commitments that he wants. We may be stuck with Boehner uh, or Weimar because that's what it is. Weimar is here. When you can't elect the Speaker of the House, in this case, the lower house of your parliament, then you have Weimar. In other words, uh, the center has collapsed, the extremists have taken over, and uh, and you can't you can't get anything uh, through. I mean, even and forget about getting it through. You can't even uh, elect somebody who's going to be the speaker of this uh, distinguished assembly. So we are in Weimar, and the answer to Weimar is economic recovery. Want to be locked into this dictatorship, depression, dictatorship, and war? You've got to treat the depression, and to get a recovery from the depression, you're going to need six trillion dollars from the Fed on a zero percent century bond basis, as needed. You're going to have to rebuild the entire infrastructure: the roads, the ports, the railroads. The airports, the entire U.S. infrastructure has to be rebuilt. The science drivers of plasma physics, high energy physics, and biomedical and space exploration. All of that financed with 0% Federal Reserve credit. And we'll be back in a minute on World Crisis Radio. To our final segment here on World Crisis Radio, let me quickly point out that uh, we have two events coming up, right? One is the event in Rome on uh, Monday, the 26th of October. That is the No Guerra and No NATO conference. Uh, in, uh, you can find the address uh, on tarpley.net. Uh, so that's very timely, as we've just, uh, just been discussing. That's on, uh, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Monday, the 26th of October. A lot of very important people uh, will be there. Others have been invited. Maybe not all will come, but the, um, the tendency is for some important ones to come. And then uh, on the other side, uh, on Friday and Saturday, that is to say Halloween, uh, the 31st of October and then November 1st, I will be speaking this time in uh, Germany, and this will be at uh, the Frankfurt area. And if I can call this one up, let's see if I can. Uh, this is going to be in the Frankfurt area, that is within the realm of the uh, of the Frankfurt S bahn. The Frankfurt conference, uh, or the Frankfurt area conference, is actually going to be held in. Friedberg, F-I-R-E-D-B-E-R-G, Friedberg in Hesse, right, in Hessen. Uh, and that's at the Stadthalle Friedberg, am Seebach number two. 
And this will be on the 31st of October and the 1st of November. Uh, the conference is the Querdenken TV Congress. So, um, what can we say? Bi I would say bipartisan thinking is the, the idea of this. Bipartisan, uh, inclusive, um, spanning left and right uh, TV Congress. So that's going to be, I think my speech is on November 1st, but please um, keep in touch with me on Twitter and indeed on Facebook. And I'll be telling you, for example, the, op the opportunity to have a, an informal gathering with uh, contact sympathizers, friends of the broadcast, people who want to learn more about the um, the um, tax Wall Street party and so forth. So both in regard to Rome on the on around the 26th, maybe it'll be the 25th, maybe the 27th, certainly something on the 26th, but some extra event where you can come and uh, and meet me and we can actually confer about international strategy. So that will be Rome around the 26th of October, and then the Frankfurt area. Now, this interesting thing here is that Friedberg is close to Bad Nauheim, and what everybody has to know about Bad Nauheim is this is where Elvis Presley did his military service. So in the center of Bad Nauheim, you have the Elvis Presley Platz with a, uh, a, a, a suitable uh, memorial um, or you know monument to his, uh, his presence there. So, uh, Stadthalle Friedberg, F I R E D B E R G, and you can find this Querdenken bipartisan thinking left and right uh, across uh, the uh, the internet. And the idea with this is, uh, some people don't like this, right? Some people say, "Oh, the left and right, that doesn't mix." Well, we have to try anything at this point. So I'm happy to uh, to see what can be done now. Concerning uh, CoinTelPro, I just have to make a, a general statement here, right? I'm, I'm finding out that this idea of COINTELPRO 2.0 is uh, a lot of people have cognitive difficulties in accepting it. And obviously, it's got to do with fear. It's got to do with uh, a desire not to be in the world where there is such a massive COINTELPRO 2.0. Uh, Cointel Pro stalking. These are the realities of our time. You cannot be in politics. You cannot do anything if you're not a realist. And we have to be great realists. The reality is the U.S. intelligence agencies, FBI in particular, but CIA and so forth, NSA, they are carrying out this massive illegal surveillance, to be sure, but also harassment, nagging sabotage, uh, the attempt to drive you out of politics. Uh, you cannot close your eyes to this. Remember Cass Sunstein, the guy who first introduced WikiLeaks and Assange to the world in the pages of the Washington Post in the mid uh, is the guy who called for cognitive infiltration of the various uh, anti-war, 9-11 truth, and other other movements. So they've, they've been doing that. Now, a couple of interesting things have come to light. Assange, it has now been revealed in the last several weeks, Assange's graduate school and Assange's studies, his research, were financed, paid for, by the National Security Agency and by DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Products uh, uh, Projects Agency. So Assange helped decisively by the U.S. intelligence community. Uh, this, of course, is, uh, is, is typical. Now, what I think we're dealing with is an attempt by the limited hangout controllers, by the mind benders, by the officials who run the MK, mind control uh, apparatus of our time, they're retooling both Assange and Snowden. Two interesting things just in the past couple of weeks. This past week, we're told that the British police, oh, they're so tired, and they've been spending so much money keeping that watch, that cordon outside of the Ecuadorian embassy in London where Assange has been staying, that those police are going to pack it in. They're going to go home. So Assange could now be spirited out of there. And uh, with a little help from his military intelligence friend there, the guy that uh, li lived in the east of England and uh, had him staying in that wonderful uh, palatial estate, 
uh, Assange could soon be operating somewhere or other in the world. And then Snowden. Snowden got his first Twitter account. Isn't that wonderful? And how did he do it? Um, the problem with this is if your name is Edward Snowden and uh, you essentially come to Twitter in the end of September, I think it's September 29th of the year 2015, what are your chances of getting the Twitter handle at Edward Snowden? Or I guess it's at Snowden. The title, the name of the thing is Edward Snowden, and the handle is at Snowden. What do you think your chances are? Well, this is so strange, right, and so suspicious, so eclatant, that uh, the London Guardian, which is one of the uh, the cheerleaders, right, one of the groupies for Snowden, right, part of his media cartel, part of Assange's too, I guess, they, they have to explain how it is that Snowden can get this Twitter handle. Um, and the way they say it is, this, uh, the Twitter handle Snowden and the name Edward Snowden had been unused for three years. But now that Ed Snowden, Edward Snowden, wanted to make a comeback and get these things, uh, Twitter agreed to give it to him. Boy, oh boy. Uh, what kind of special treatment is that? Is this what happens to a hounded and persecuted whistleblower, some guy who is in the crosshairs of the intelligence community who are trying to shut him down. Well, of course not. This is what you get from Edward Snowden. So we got to focus on these people uh, and try to see if Assange and Snowden both go in motion and start doing something out of the ordinary at the same time. That's really um, important. So Covert assets uh, infiltrate everywhere. Uh, these are the trolls. And as you know, I gave a typology of the false flag operation. I gave a typology of the limited hangout operation. I will be developing a typology of Pro and Pro stalking. See you next week on World Crisis Radio.